Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to embed Google Reviews widget on any website. The platform that we'll be using to do this is none other than elfsite.com. So you're going to go onto elfsite.com and you can use this platform for completely free and you will be able to add numerous widgets to any website. So once on elfsite.com, you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and right where you see widgets, I want you to hover over that with your cursor. Then from there, you're going to simply scroll down. So you're going to scroll down until you see Google reviews. So let's do that real quick. You can see it right here. You're going to tap on Google reviews. Then from here, you will be redirected to a new page. On this page, you will now be able to edit your widget. So you can see the carousel widget here. If you would like to use the badge instead, you can do that. Or if you would like to select the grid widget, you can do that. Or a floating badge, you can also select that option. As you can see, you have numerous options that you can select. So whether you'd like to use the slider, a simple carousel, or you'd like to use a carousel with photos, you can do that, you can select any one of these options. Once you have found one that you like, all you'll need to do now is tap on continue with this template in the bottom left hand corner. Then you are going to tap on business name and address. And from here, you could type in your business name and address, or you can search for the business that you would like to add. So for example, let's say I were to type in odd we are in New York, just for example sake, Let's say this one and I'll tap on it. After doing that, you can see it right here. It is being generated. And another thing that you can also do by going over to the left hand menu option, you could tap on review. After tapping on review, from there you can see the review source and you can scroll down and you can see right there, you can change the layout. You could tap on customize. You can also tap on style and if you would like to change the background color, you can do that. You can also change the font color. Once you're finished, you'll tap on add to website for free and you'll be provided with an embed code. And all you'll need to do, you're going to select the free plan. So we're going to be selecting the free plan. After selecting the plan, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And you're going to tap on view plans in the top right hand corner so you can see right here view plans and we're going to be selecting the free plan as you can see that i have done after you have selected the free plan you can tap on the x in the top right hand corner to close it then from there you'll tap on close once more in the top right hand corner and you're going to be redirected to this page once on this page all you'll need to do now you're going to tap on install. After tapping on install, you will see the embed code that you are provided with. Keep in mind, you can see the numerous other platforms that you can integrate this on, as you can see right here. So if you have a Shopify store, a Squarespace website, OpenCart, Webflow, Lightspeed, any one of these platforms, you will be able to add the Google review on as you can see here. So basically any website you can add it on. So we'll need to tap on copy code. After you have copied the code, let's say for example, I would like to add it onto my Google sites. So I would go onto Google sites and I'm just going to be selecting a random template for example sake. After you have selected the template, you'll be redirected to a new page and you will simply tap on embed from the right hand menu option. Then select embed code. Now keep in mind that if you were doing this on WordPress, you will simply select HTML and you are going to paste in the HTML code right here. After you have done that, you will tap on next. Then you are going to see a preview of how it looks. Then you will tap on insert. And that's basically it. After doing that, you can pull along the line right here to increase or decrease the size of the widget. So you can get a better view of it as you can see here. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. 